Hello everyone and welcome to another video. In today's video, I am going to be showing you all how to use the cruise control and the iDrive infotainment system on a BMW 318i. So the BMW 318i is actually a very simple car to operate and you would just find out after seeing this video. So starting off with the cruise control, it's a pretty simple one. So what you do is just you press this cruise control button and then you will see a green symbol which says that it has been activated the cruise control and then once you want to set the speed you can just press the resume button and then it would set the speed as you can see the default speed is 30 kilometers so that it will do and if you want to change the speed of the cruise control you can press the plus or the minus button and it would keep changing the speed when it is active at that point of time only you can do and there is another button called as the lim which is the limiter so so this has this cool feature where where it will limit the speed let me show you so when i press this it's already activated so now if i press it it will go in 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 either a kilometer difference or when i press it long press it it will go in 10 kilometers so it will go up and down so this particular feature will make sure that you don't cross the speed so that is what this limiter is for and whenever you want to deactivate that you can press that limiter again and it is deactivated same for the cruise control when you press it it is activated when you press it again it is deactivated so the 318i has a very simple dashboard where you have two big dials and then another uh, secondary dials for your fuel and uh, the temperature but in the middle you would find this small screen which is pretty enough to give you all the details and it's pretty simple to operate also because there is this button given out here now this button itself is used for everything the bottom information will always remain the same it's only the top information like currently the fuel average which is being shown there is also the average speed during the journey this is the date then there is plane if you don't want anything then there is time and then there is distance to empty your fuel so it's just just that much and then we are back to the uh, economy so that is pretty much it what you would see from this so the auto stop uh, start stop function that you see that is also to uh, used from here so if i press that you would see that notification has gone so whenever i press it again it will be showing me that so it's just a very simple to use system and it's just got straightforward information on it. So the iDrive system on the 318i is pretty easy to use. It's just somewhere around 6 inches and it's just the non-touch screen but then everything is controlled using a dial which is given out here and these menu options and all of these that you can use and also you can just change the options using this button so everything is controlled just using this dial so coming to this iDrive system now the first option that you would see is the radio control now when I press so pressing that dial will get you inside this uh, media control system and here you can select either the FM, AM or the Bluetooth connections which you want and also you can change the sound settings from here directly and also all the different options out here and if you want to manage the mobile devices you can connect a new device or you can use the existing ones whichever you want to connect to so that is just that much it and then there is the personalized menu option where whatever you want to see in the main menu you can tick out here and it will be shown to you so there is a usb option which has been given which is in the center armrest out here so that you can connect uh, any pen drive or anything even if your phone has media it will connect to that so that is just the media control which you can use now communication in that if you connect your phone using the bluetooth you can use all these options like the contacts you can access you can access the recent call you can also dial a number from here for right now my phone isn't connected otherwise it would show that there you can again manage the mobile device this option is pretty much in every single uh, uh, sub menu 
menu options so you would see this manage mobile device everywhere there's also bmw assistance there is bmw messages i want to show the bmw messages because uh, this car can receive messages over the air so ota it has and which is why it has these messages which have been sent to me where i've been advised to stay home and which is pretty cool and clever so again this also uh, menu can be customized so whatever you want to see you can change it there is also the connected drive and the connected drive is basically just for the uh, bmw option so again the same assistance and messages and also again if you notice manage mobile devices from here you can add that now my vehicle is something which has elaborate settings inside so you can go inside you can change the exterior lighting door keys um, um, you know what door you want to unlock how how long you want the doors to remain open there's also exterior lightings how long you want the exterior lightings to stay on after you lock it there are unlock it there is also speed warning you can set the speed at which you want the the car to warn you there is also the configure eco pro where you can set the different uh, parameters where it will advise you on coasting and the climate control and everything so that is vehicle settings then there is the main i drive settings again again in that also you would find the mobile devices where you can change that the language there is control display as to the brightness of the screen itself there is date time there is units you can send there is sound notifications pop up am software update and also the getting started is the uh, is sort of a booklet which you can get like a digital booklet on your car itself instead of using the main uh, booklet which has been provided with the car then there is the contents of the main menu which you want to see so if i want the simplified version when i go out again you see this option is just the simple one so when i go in and when i change that again to the onboard computer so it will show me a detail level of uh sort of information as to how many how ma how many hours have i driven this car like you can see 624 hours and throughout how much it has been doing the efficiency so i can change that again if i want to see the driving style analysis i can do that and then it will show me the it's only available in the eco pro mode so which is why it would when i switch to the eco mode so i just prefer the onboard computer because it's just easy to see all the information while driving there is also driver profiles where you can set different drivers up to four and then you can assign them different settings whatever they want they can save it into that then there is the vehicle status so vehicle status is where you can see tire pressure you can do the reset then you can go back you can also see the oil temperature the oil level i'm sorry you can see that there is also different warnings if any or you can just check uh, if the car is doing perfect then there is service requirements where it will show you all the parameters for the brakes for the vehicle for brake fluid engine oil and everything and also uh, if you want to book any appointment or the history of the car it will show you all of that inside this one now the technology in action it will show you while you are driving it will show you the different bits where the engine is uh, coasting or it is uh, charging the battery like the car battery if that is doing that it will show you all of that inside this system and then there are also this is the best bit which is the sporty display so when i press look yeah oh, that is super cool it will show me the torque and the power generated at that particular rpm especially cool when you are driving say uh, in a sport mode and it will show you that information there is driving information also where it will tell me how to what to improve if i want to improve my ep efficiency there's also owner's handbook which is what i said the complete handbook is uh, in a digital format stored on the computer itself so you can access using this so that was the detailed sort of main menu which where you can change everything from it and then comes the last menu which is the notification so if there are any errors on this like if i was getting my sos uh, alert which was uh, coming so it would pop up out here if i had low fuel it would pop up out here speed warning all of those notifications would come here even if i connect the phone it will show me the messages or the missed calls which i have that will be shown on this so if i go into the reverse the camera feed is on my screen now and now if i press this knob in the back position so 
if I go back, it will show me some more options where I can change the brightness, I can change the contrast, I can switch on the parking guidelines. And this is sometimes uh, one of the features which most of the users don't find it, which I've realized and I've gotten a lot of queries as to how to switch this on. So you can just press the, the knob in the left direction and it will show you these options and also the obstacle marking. So that is it for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you like this video and if it is really helpful in understanding all the the basic functionings of uh, of a 318i in fact uh, all the three series are pretty much easier to use so this is uh, not just for this particular car but you can use it on any other three series that you would find so and even the previous generations that you would see some menus are in there but then they are relatively easier to use if you want to subscribe to my channel then click here and if you want to watch more videos then click here I shall see you in the next video. Bye-bye and take care.